When is the right time to work with an advisor? Is there a minimum age requirement when it comes to financial planning? Is it all about the amount you have to invest? Or could other factors come into play? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back. I'm Chris Briscoe, Director of Financial Planning, and with me today is Emily Safford, one of our Wealth Advisors for Girard. Emily, thanks for joining. Great to be here. Today we're talking about financial planning for younger adults. And when I say younger, I don't just mean age, although mostly we're talking about people who are at least younger than me. I'm talking about people who are younger in their financial lives. So say they just graduated college within the past few years. They're currently navigating through the early part of their careers. They're starting to accumulate some wealth. And they're facing or about to be faced with some of those pivotal life events that one may typically experience earlier in life. And the common misconception with financial planning is that it's all about retirement readiness. And that's just not the case, especially in this situation. Talk to us a little bit about what are some of those life events that people go through that working with an advisor might be beneficial to them? Yeah, so I would say all of these, you know, if you can get some outside advice, they're really big decisions. Um, one of them I just went through, I bought a house last year. Also, I got married last year. So two of those that we run into quite frequently where people really need some guidance from us. Other ones might be consolidating debts. Maybe they've got a big student debt bill looming over their head or they just need to figure out a good saving strategy and i'm smiling because i'm thinking about when i was faced with a lot of those items that you just brought up and for me it was between i'd say mid-20s to early 30s and it was stressful it was very overwhelming for myself and my wife and, and I, I was in the financial business and you can talk to colleagues and you can talk to friends and family members and get advice but at the end of the day you really want that professional advice and, and I just felt like we didn't have enough in assets to, to warrant a, a wealth advisor or for a wealth advisor even to want to work with us but I know you have a lot of clients that are early in their financial careers how do you work with them in the financial planning process? Yeah, so it's funny you say that. We actually have a lot of older clients where they're now starting to refer their children to start working with us. And a lot of them have said, you know, this would have been so helpful if I knew this back in my 20s or 30s. So we try to make sure that people are building good habits early on if possible. And a lot of that ties back to, you know, making sure that they're spending less than what they're um, earning or um, understanding good debt versus bad debt and really just making sure they're educated in all areas of their financial lives. And that's the key word is that the education. So it's not just financial planning. It's not just your investments. It's about educating the client and making sure you're answering the questions that they're no doubt are going to have along their life. Something else to bring up is there are times where you have to be there not only emotionally but, but maybe financially when a big change comes. And, and I'm thinking about a grandparent passes away or a parent passes away and, and suddenly it's a roller coaster of emotions but also too maybe there's an inheritance involved and they're looking at it as this changes our financial picture how do we how do we navigate through this you also have another example you've worked with clients who have gone through this recently tell us more about that I have, yeah. So you want to make sure that you're being smart whenever you're taking on a big chunk of money. It can be life-changing in a good way, but you also want to make sure that you're being strategic with it. So this was a young family where they had a lot of lofty goals. They're trying to make sure that they prepare for their children's education. They're saving for their forever home. They've got some outstanding debt. And then they also just want to make sure that they're putting themselves on a good savings path moving forward. Let's change the subject and talk about, let's say you're approached by a younger couple. Both of them are working, good earners, no kids yet, but they're looking to start that wealth plan, right? They need to take the first steps in their financial journey. And how do you get them on that financial pl planning path? So I would say start very simple, baby steps. So take a look at what they're spending, take a look at what they're earning, and then figure out how to back into a good savings rate from there. And also just help them prioritize all of their various goals. Um, some might be further out in the future where we can figure out how much they should be saving today. Um, but a lot of it just goes back to helping them get organized and prioritize everything. Let's say you put the plan together and, and uh, you, know, you, you take all their information, you put it all in one place. How often are you revisiting that plan? I would say at least annually, but it really depends on their situation. And it also depends on their comfort level. So maybe they're a little bit nervous and need some more hand-holding, especially in the first year of putting together the plan. 
But like you said, it's something that can be adjusted and should be adjusted and modified over time. Yeah, I think it's important to to realize and to know that it's not set in stone. It's not a set it and forget it and we'll revisit it years down the road. It's constantly updating. Right. Things are happening in your lives that you're going to need to tweak the plan and you're going to say, well, what happens if we need to do this and what happens about this? That's where it's important to have a wealth advisor with you every step of the way that you're bouncing those ideas, you're uh, running different scenarios, and overall you're building that financial plan that, that goes along with them. Exactly. Great stuff. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And to you, the viewer, thanks for watching. If some of this applies to you and you don't quite know where to go or who to contact, please don't hesitate to reach out. Visit our website, meetgerard.com. On there, you'll find contact information for Emily, myself, and the rest of our team. We look forward to helping you in any way we can. Take care.